Hi, I'm Rajiv Tsukidresens. In this video, I will show you two ways how to make a reaction video in Final Cut Pro. So let's get it on! Let's start with the first method. So once you have a video to react to, just copy it on your desktop and then drag it to your timeline for later use. Okay? Now let's go to Final Cut Pro. So I've already dragged it to my timeline. So this is copied on this library. Then go to File and then go to Import. Go to Media. So this will be your video. So this is your reaction. Once you're ready, just click import. Then go to your desktop and then play the video. And now time to react. Okay. So once you're done reacting, go back to your Final Cut Pro and then click stop import. And then exit. So you now have your reaction video right here. Just drag it to your timeline and then scale it a little bit smaller. And then you now have a reaction video. Nice, right? For the second method, go to File, go to Import, and then Media. If you have an iPhone, you can use your iPhone as a webcam, and it's much better than this. Just go to Apple Store and download EpoCam, okay? So this is the EpoCam. This is it. This is the free version, so there's a watermark right here. This is made by Elgato, but if you bought the Pro version, the watermark will be gone, okay? So this is the free version. Once you're ready, just click Import. And then go to your desktop and then start reacting again. Once you're done reacting, just hit stop import and then exit. And now you now have your reaction here. Just drag it to your timeline, right click and align. To remove the watermark, just crop it like so. Okay? If this video has been helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. So, you now have a reaction video. Put it up here, like so. Make it smaller. And then done. Okay? Awesome, right? Very simple. Oh, yeah! Hey, I have a gift for you, a pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it's yours free. Click below for your gift.